Sometimes you may need to create a copy of the virtual machine. The process of creating a copy is called cloning, and there are multiple ways to clone virtual machine. One of the easiest way to clone is to copy the folder content. For example, if you navigate into the folder where the content of your virtual machine is stored, select all the files, click copy, and paste it into your target location, you will ultimately create a copy of the virtual machine. After you copied it, you would need to find and open VMX file and go through VMware's wizard to answer if you copied it or moved it. In addition to copying just the folder structure, VMware supports more sophisticated cloning options. When you create linked clones, you have a concept of parent virtual machine as well as linked virtual machine. Your parent virtual machine might only have Windows 10 installation and linked virtual machine might have Windows 10 as well as Microsoft Office installed. Using this concept allows you to save on disk space because linked virtual machine only stores the Delta, which is in this case Microsoft Office. The coolest thing is that you are not just limited to one linked clone. You can create as many linked virtual machines as your resources allow. And all of these linked virtual machines can have different configurations as long as they maintain parents' base configuration, in this case, Windows 10. For example, the linked clone 1 might have Microsoft Office installed in addition to Windows 10, but linked clone 2 will have installed Windows 10, Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, and Adobe PDF. To make a clone of virtual machine using VMware interface, you need to navigate to the VM menu, click Manage, and click Clone and VMware takes you through the wizard of cloning virtual machine. I am going to select the first option, the current state in the virtual machine, which will create the linked clone from the current state. I am going to go with the first option to create a linked clone. On the next screen, I am going to put my cloned virtual machine into the dedicated folder and give it a name, Windows Server 2019 Linked Clone 1, and click Finish button to complete the process. Once linked clone is created, you will have two virtual machines, your original parent virtual machine, Windows Server 2019, as well as the cloned virtual machine, which has a name, Windows Server 2019 Linked Clone 1. In the file system, Linked Clone has its own set of files in the dedicated folder. And as you can see, the sizes of the files are rather small because only Delta information is stored in the cloned virtual machine. Let me give you a couple reasons why you might consider subscribing to online training for everyone. State-of-the-art skills, tips, tricks, and techniques we share with you here on online training for everyone will help you today and in the future. We use scientifically proven methodology to create videos that will help you learn faster and retain more materials. When you click the subscribe button now, you will become connected and will be the first one to receive automatic notifications when new video is released. Sometimes you may need to create full exact copy of the virtual machine, which is in VMware terms called full independent clones. To accomplish this, you need to open existing virtual machine you're trying to clone, navigate to VM menu, click Manage, and select Clone. It launches VMware Wizard, and here on the first screen you need to click the Next button. You need to select an option, which in my case I am going to select the current state of the virtual machine and click Next. And on the second screen, you need to select Create a full clone. On the next screen, I am going to give a name to the full clone virtual machine, as well as select the destination folder where a virtual machine is going to be located. After all of this is done, I am going to click the Finish button. Because this is an exact replica of virtual machine, a lot of files would need to be copied and this process might take substantial time. Once full clone is complete, you just need to close the wizard. Creating full clone of virtual machine doesn't copy snapshots. For example, if your old virtual machine had snapshots, new virtual machine, the full clone of old one, will not bring snapshots from the old virtual machine. This is the main reason why folder size for the full clone virtual machine might be a little bit smaller than the original virtual machine, which had a lot of snapshots please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. 
This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.